When I talk to customers and ask them after their BI strategy, how they manage their metadata, how they manage their KPIs, how they work with governance, how they um, think about, thought about support, learning, uh, long-term long -term objectives. Uh, they always show me this one slider with this technical architecture picture and that makes me laugh. On one slide they have everything and they, uh, they think they have a solid and uh, structured BI strategy, but it's, it's not, it's definitely not. You know, creating a, a BI strategy is, is, could be quite some work. Yeah, you, you have to, to, to get real insight in, in uh, long-term objectives, uh, how your technical architecture is, what kind of functionalities you want to offer, uh, how you handle your key performance indicators, uh, all those things. And what I tend to do is, is uh, try to help my customers just get a foundation. Yeah, just a foundation for their BR strategy, and which can be done in, in, in limited number of days. I'm talking four, five, or six days. And I use a very simple four-step methodology. Yeah, that, that is uh, basically working as follows. Um, it, I, I, I try to gather in the first step to get a full insight on, um, I would say, their BI needs. Yeah? So um, I make an overview of what are the core business pains and I weigh them on the degree. Um, and I, I try to do that per line of business. Yeah? So I talk to finance people, to marketing people, to people from purchasing, asking what, what, what are the pains that you have currently managing the performance of your 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 department yeah? and um, I, I just document that in a very simple spreadsheet and in the second step um, we basically go to what is your current two-day execution level um, on, on business intelligence what do you have what are your capabilities what are your technical functionalities uh, that you have in place? Um, how's the team? What's your knowledge? Um, and what are your technical components that you have available? And um, in the third step, of course, I, I try to combine the first two. Yeah? So we do a gap analysis. And um, uh, what, I, what I basically do, if you, if you document well the first two steps and um, very important is that you use the, the degree levels uh, which you can read in my blog uh, how to do so. Um, if you document those very well and you try to visualize them in an infographic or using a very simple self-service tool then you very easily get an insight on uh, what are those gaps, how are they prioritized versus uh, how can I execute against them to get them into place. And that is what I basically summarized in the last uh, step where I create a recommendation for the customer.